Without further ado, I would like to introduce, uh, welcome, and thank the sponsors of this bill. Our first speaker is Representative Franklin Vassell. Marcia? To God be the glory, great things he hath done. I want to give honor to God who is the master of my life and in him I live and move and as I leave. I want to thank all of you for being here um, today um, on this wonderful day, press conference day. I want to recognize um, some of my colleagues who I see in the bed in the back. Um, Senator Quezada, um, thank you for being here. You want to join us up here? Um, Chairwoman Williams. Um, Rep. Karchavan, I think I just saw um, Rep. Tenzu is going to be speaking. I, I saw Rep. Fogarty. I don't know where she went. She's sad. Oh, she's sad. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to thank you all so much for being here. It is truly a privilege um, to be here. Uh, long time coming. I want to spend a moment, um, I want to stick to my script, <laughs> to thank the Trauma-Informed Working Group. If you're in the building, in the room, can you please raise your hand? Trauma-Informed Working Group. Stand. <laughs> so these amazing people we have been meeting for the last two, um, six weeks or two months and every Monday evening online, virtual, and we've done some hybrid meetings as well, um, to plan and to organize, because we know that this is so, so, so important um, to the social and academic outcomes of our children. I want to spend a moment just to thank um, Speaker Shikarchi and um, Lida Blazajewski, Danica Ayakoa, I want to thank um, Bill, I want to thank um, uh, Meredith, and I just want to thank all the wonderful people that have worked on this piece of legislation in any capacity at all. I do not take your help for granted. It is so important. This is a team, and that's why I think it's important to recognize. I want to recognize my co-sponsor, um, Senator Kano. We've been at this for a while, Senator Kano, so I want to thank you um, so much for your diligence and your resilience. I also want to give a shout out um, to some of the, org and to Chairman Matt Namara, um, who is here, um, a great, great supporter of this piece of legislation, a teacher, educator himself. I just want to give you a shout out and to say thank you so much um, for this. I also want to just share with you some of the sponsors and people that have supported um, this piece of legislation. The National Education Association, the Rhode Island Federation of Teachers, the ACLU, the um, Adoption Rhode Island, Rhode Island Skid Count, you name people who care about children, they have supported this bill. I want to also thank the Rhode Island Black Business Association, my sister Lisa in the back, uh, Reba, thank you for your support of this bill. But also, thank you of your support, because what you are saying by being here and being such strong advocates of this bill is, I think I saw Rep. Morales in the back, thank you for being here, is that you know, like I do, I teach public school, you know that, I teach in the city of Providence, I see kids falling apart every single day, and it's not okay. Rhode Island, not me, because I'm not the expert, I'm not a doctor in that regard, but the doctors at Hasbro last week, or two weeks ago, said mental health is an emergency in the state of Rhode Island. But we knew this five, seven years ago when I introduced the first bill in trauma. So um, we've known this for a while and we're so glad that we've stepped up and we're doing something to impact the trajectory of children's lives both academically and, 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 and behaviorally. But let me say this in conclusion. I want to be abundantly clear. 
adverse childhood experiences affect children in every single zip code in Rhode Island. It is not an urban thing. Adverse childhood experience, hunger, poverty, gun violence, knowing someone who has committed suicide, homelessness, all of these things are adverse childhood experiences. And so this bill, which we will Pass out of committee, Chairman. Am I speaking too quickly? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> it, it's going to be awesome. I just saw um, another co-sponsor, Rebecca Kislek, um, just joined us. I just want to thank you so much. You can tell that um, I am so grateful. This bill is going to help students. This bill is going to help teachers. This bill is going to help crossing guards, bus monitors. Every single person who interacts with children will know what childhood adverse experiences are. But more importantly, they will know how to respond to kids who experience trauma. Also, our community will know how to respond. Because we've got to do better for kids. Because they're hurting. And they're hurting badly. So thank you so much.